Yo, what's up, SMS Army? It's Chicken Gang. It's your boy Omar SMS. We are back with another Apex Legends guide video. In this video, we're going to speak about M assist, feel of you, and what it happens if you get higher feel of you or lower feel of you. So this video is just recommended. I mean, it's just for controller players because it's basically talking about M assist. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel and you don't subscribe, I'd hit that sub button and drop a like on my video to support my content. We're still doing the training center. Uh, it's been a while not uploading videos, guys. It's because I was doing some stuff, sorting some stuff that I promised you guys to do, which is I'm going to be uploading two contents in a day and I'm going to be streaming in morning and nights and gonna stream uh, screams uh, there, there will be a lot of work so we basically just got ourselves sorted uh, on monday this monday hopefully so starting from next week you guys are gonna expect a lot of uh, huge pump up in uh, the content and more gameplays and everything so yeah this is gonna be 100 percent sure because i already paid for everything i sorted out everything i needed to take time i took already time guys so Anyway, let me jump straight to the video. If you guys are new to the video to the channel, I usually upload guide videos, Apex Legends, random videos, and uh, content like uh, gameplay highlights, whatever you guys want me to upload, uh, whatever you guys want on Apex Legends, you're gonna find it on this channel. Anyway, let's jump straight to it. So. A lot of people uh, ask me about field of view and does it affect MSS and some people say, don't really think about this or really they don't really uh, seem that get the idea of MSS using field of view but does it make a difference with MSS? It does. First of all let me go straight guys and explain to you guys something. First of all field of view FOV uh, why does it affect MSS? We're gonna speak about it. Uh, first of all, the question is, does it affect the assist? Yes, it does. Now, the second question is, which one is gonna be better for M assist? Of course, the lower the field of view is, the better for M assist. But there are some adv disadvantages of this one too. The disadvantages of lower field of view is gonna be obviously that you're not gonna see enemies more. Uh, you're gonna feel the game slower. It's gonna be a little bit changes, but of course you're gonna have more M assist, more accuracy and tracking because basically the lower fov the faster the aim is also uh, and also the lower fov the more m assist now why does it affect m assist i'm gonna talk about it so basically if you have lower fov you're gonna have more pixels you're gonna feel the uh, enemies are bigger and all these stuff and this basically what will happen that it will affect m assist the smaller the target is the less MSS you'll have. It is very easy to, to talk about. So let's say this target right here, and you're gonna see Gibraltar. So let's let's talk about it this way. Let's imagine a Gibraltar, a Gibraltar that is uh, three centimeter. <laughs> let's just talk like that. Three centimeter and another target is two centimeter. So basically if you have three centimeter target, which is bigger, uh, the MSS is gonna just target the bigger thing, of course, because it's gonna affect. This is this doesn't need an explanation. Also, like if you have bigger target, you're gonna have more MSS because wherever you want to aim with the gun like that, you, wherever you're gonna press and aim, it's gonna go is uh, immediately to the target, which is fatter because you you will easily just target him. So this is first step that you must understand that yes, it does affect MSS in this way uh, for controllers. The higher FOV is gonna have less MSS because you'll have the target smaller, but there are disadvantages of having low FOV and MSS, and I'm gonna talk about it also again. So if you have if you have uh, lower FOV, the problem with it is the recoil. I've talked it, uh, I've talked about it in many videos that the higher FOV, the less recoil is gonna be, and the reason why is also because I explained it in a couple of my videos or why it affects uh, recoil, but. You have to understand that the higher FOV, the better the recoil can be controlled. It's because the uh, aiming and everything will be much slower. So it basically feels easier to control. And that's all I can explain for now. I don't want to make a video long about it and explain it to, explaining it in details. But all you have to know is the higher FOV, the less recoil that you'll have, but the less MSS you'll have. So there's an advantage and there's a disadvantage. And of course, the other... Uh, uh, disadvantage and advantage in lower FOV is gonna be 
uh, more M assist, but at the same time less uh, recoil. I mean more recoil, but more tracking. Because of course, basically, if you have more tracking, that means you ha your aim is faster, right? So the faster the aim, the more recoil you'll have. This is very easy to to say about. So yeah, this is something that you must understand. I don't really think there's anything to talk about. Does FOV expect? Uh, changes m assist ways it does what is the recommended fov and how much m assist each one will give i'm gonna talk about it in a minute so let's say 100 fov 110 fov you're gonna have around 70 percent m assist used uh from uh, from the controller so you're gonna lose 30 percent m assist from what lower fov has the 104 fov is gonna have more uh, better than 110 is gonna use around 78 percent or 80 percent m assist which is 10 percent better more uh, 100 fov is gonna use around 90 95 fov uh, 90 m assist i mean i said fov it's gonna be 90 m assist percent so it's gonna be even 10 times better than 110 compared to MSS it's gonna be 20% better so this is also an advantage of course you're gonna have more recoil though uh, going to 90 FOV is gonna have around 100% uh, not 100% let's say 99% MSS which is close to 100% the full advantage of it that's why already some people said uh, i mean the game said setting that the this setting this above 90 may impact performance or casual visual issues we know that casual uh, visual issues we know this already the higher of you're gonna have visual issues you're gonna not see the target there's a little bit of blur or something but there's impact performance it's said already here the more more than 90 percent is gonna impact performance and this comes to tracking and m assist and all that so 90% is the average where you'll have the full experience of M-Assist and everything. Anything above 90 is gonna reduce, be reduced a little bit, a little bit, more and more and more. So the more than 90, you're gonna have less M-Assist, basically. This is what is gonna say it. This is what is said uh, and as ex explained here. So this is all what you guys need to know. But does this mean you have to play on 90%? It depends on you. I mean, 90 FOV, it depends on you guys if you want the full m assist and you don't care about fov much then it's up to you and i really recommend you guys to play around 100 104 if you guys need the advantage for m assist i don't really recommend 90 90 fov i recommend 100 and 104 for those people who want to play and for those who really barely care about this you can play 110 120 fov it's up to you guys if you're on pc uh, 120 fov is also really very high but yeah it's up to you guys you can play 110 that's really also good and have advantage a lot but of course you're gonna lose around 20% MSS. It's up to you guys, it's not a big deal. It's really not that much. Uh, we're basically speaking 20% is just from my experience, guys. I'm not speaking about accurate numbers. I'm just telling you guys how much might you lose compared to 90 and 100. So this is the video for now, guys. 100 recommended and 104 recommended for most of you guys. So it's up to you to choose. You need more MSS, you need recall at the same time, it's up to you. Uh, you can try it in a final range and against a person, you can try it in a match and tell me guys how this went. Anyway, I hope you guys, I hope this video was useful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. For more videos, drop a comment down below. And if you guys are more supportive, uh, more supportive, there's a training center that we will help anyone to get better in the game and live session. Uh, and the streams are gonna be soon, hopefully just stay away, stay there. We will see you guys on scrims, it's gonna be streaming scrims with with slow esports. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.